today we're gonna be building a park inside of Feed Park Tycoon. But if I delete anything at all, this video will end. We're gonna be able to build as cool of a park as I want, and I'm gonna have one hour to build it. But if I click this single button, I lose the challenge and the video ends. So make sure you watch this video to the very end to see if I can even complete this challenge. But before we get into any of that, make sure you are subscribed down below as we're trying to hit 100k before the end of the month. And we are getting very, very close. But anyways, let's just get straight into today's video. Alright, so timer starts in 3, 2, 1, and go. Okay, the timer is literally going. So we have to build some pretty interesting rides. But every ride we make, we literally can't delete a single thing. So we got to be very strategic with what we are building, where we are building it, and how we are building it. Because any mistake has to be incorporated into our build. And if we delete once, the challenge is over. So I think the first ride I'm wanting to make is, let's go with the spinning coaster. These are really fun, and uh, I would like to make another one of these. So we're going to start the ride, just uh, kind of a, a deep little dip, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Now we're going to build something that uh, I could very easily screw up. That maybe this isn't a good idea, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to build a roll right here. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to, like, make sure it's down a lot more. Okay. Might have to up the track friction on this ride a little bit. Um, I didn't, like, hit anything. Wait. Would, would removing blocks, like, from the ground, like, here be considered deleting? I think it would, actually. Oh, maybe we can't do that, then. Okay, then, uh, maybe we'll just do, like, a little twist right here. Uh, I want to do, like, a roll, but I don't think that's possible. Uh, I guess a really sharp twist will work, then. Oh, this is, like, an awful first ride to make. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna go down here, something like that. And then, uh, we're gonna go into our straight first section launch so let's just go to rotation zero and then uh we're gonna booster this bad boy up uh something like that yeah that, that'll work and now we're gonna go straight into the air um actually maybe we'll go for some more boosters so right there i'm, I'm so cautious right now of like trying not to delete anything i'm kind of scared to be honest okay so we'll go like so we like that and then um you know it's it's very scary because everything i place it's final like there's no going back okay that's kind of cool i mean that's actually kind of a cool little top hat how about we make it like one of those outer bank top hats so we'll have it like kind of like go out like that and then uh we'll have it come back inward right around here we gotta make it more steep though okay uh that'll work i guess and then we're gonna just have it kind of go outwards right here now with these spinning coasters uh their main point is the fact that they spin so uh i want to add a few like cool spinning elements first thing though i do want to make is a giant loop because loops are fun so let's do a loop right here this is going to be a very hard element to like make in one go but we're going to try to so we're going to move this kind of more outward so it kind of is facing out a little more and then um i'm gonna have to get this right first try which is kind of scary it's gonna be kind of a, a circular loop here it should have some cool hang time but uh that's very close we'll, we'll see how this looks i mean definitely not my best loop ever but can't go back at all Honestly, it's kind of a dope loop. Dope lop. A dope loop. Now, I think I want to get it into some spinny sections now. So, we're going to go like this. And then, uh, I'm going to get it kind of just set it back this way. There we go. That's cool. And, uh, I think I want to do like a zero G roll. Because those are also pretty cool. Okay, that's a very sharp one. And, uh, I'm a little worried because... Now we're coming into a possible collision issue, which I think we're going to narrowly avoid here. We're just going to have to, like, get this flipping the other direction very quickly. Okay, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to send it over uh, this way. And we're going to do, like, a, a kind of a cool little inversion. We're going to do, like, a like one of these, which I think would be pretty crazy on one of these coasters, you know? But we're not going to do one. I'm going to try to fit in two if possible. That might not be possible. I might have to, like, go up here and then uh, do another one here. Yeah, okay. That's probably going to be uh, the finale for the ride. So now I got to figure out how to, like, get this all braked up right here. I'm just really worried because it is kind of instinct for me to delete stuff. So in this video, you might see a part of me, like, just delete it, like, instinctively, and I might not even catch it. But we're gonna try not to do that. 
So this is gonna have to somehow be the brakes right here. And I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, wait. I might have just screwed up here. Oh, how am I gonna connect the- Oh my god, I actually might have just screwed up here. Okay, we're gonna have to make a helix here then. Because I wanted to like actually just get it to go right into the brakes. But we can't delete anything now. Okay, we're just gonna have it turn around here. Um, kind of something like that. Oh, th this actually is perfect. Yeah, okay, we got this. Okay, I gotta, like, make sure everything is gonna be perfectly aligned here. And kind of make it go up a little more here. And just head straight over here. Okay, I think we might be able to connect it here. Perfect! I'm taking that W right there. Look at this. Oh, that is a cool-looking spinning coaster. A lot of inversions, a lot of twists, a lot of cool elements here. And I really like it. Oh, that first little part is actually kind of dope. It was kind of a mistake, but it turned out really cool. Kind of like cozy. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. Big loop-de-loop -loop here. Very cool. We're going to have to obviously turn down the, the track friction and stuff in a second. But this is a very cool coaster. I want to see these, like, two back to Oh, that is cool. I want to see this part here. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to have to turn down the booster power a little bit. And then we're going to also have to... Go ahead and adjust some of the track friction settings. Uh, there's spinning drag? I kind of want to test this. I've never even, like, looked at the settings for spinning drag. I've never even messed with them. I actually think that this might be new. Because I know uh, some of the physics stuff for roller coasters got uh, changed around a little bit. Uh, so, wait. Let's see. What does the, the drag do? Oh, it doesn't even look like it's moving. Like, I don't even see it spinning. That's probably what the drag did. Wait, let me let me see if I can fix that. All right, let's see. What's it going to do now? It should, like, maybe spin more. Oh, it's already spinning. Perfect. Oh, it's already spinning. Oh, I like that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, we got to obviously make the, the booster power just a tiny bit more. So we'll do 80. Oh, no, not 25. 80. All right, test. Boom, bada, bow. Easy, easy, easy. Don't include that little one. Okay, so since we got the general layout of this ride done, I feel like the next thing that we got to do is kind of do a little bit of theme Aruno. So let's just uh, pop this up right here. We got to be very careful with this because if we, like, do one small thing that we don't like, we're sticking with that. Like, that that's something that's insane. And I think another thing that's kind of scary about it is the fact that, like, the fact that if we make it too big, it might actually interfere with the supports, which is something we don't want to do. So we got to be very careful and strategic with how we do this. So I'm going to just kind of like play some stuff like right here. And then uh, I think I want to do one big, large tree somewhere. If I had more time, I would actually probably theme this right a bit. Because I actually really love the layout of this. Pretty cool for like not being able to destroy anything, you know. So I think something kind of narrow here would be kind of neat. Um, and then maybe just something like more over here. Just to kind of get some trees. And then we got to grab some bushes. I'm going to make these a larger. Oh, I'm, I'm removing supports. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot. I just removed, like, some nice supports here. Okay, we got to be very careful with these. All right, that's going there. Um, I think that'll probably be all because I'm very afraid of removing stuff, and I don't want that to happen. I might make, like, just kind of a cool little rock mound right here, you know, just, like, just have some rocks or something, you know, to look at as you're speeding past here at a billion miles an hour. So just, just like that. Okay, that's kind of cool. We can, like, put a tree right here or something. Okay, that's cool. All right, I'm going to turn off uh, Disable Collisions, and uh, I'm going to try to just place some more trees around the, the back side of this ride right here. But overall, this is a pretty cool first little ride that we made. And uh, we got to be very strategic with these because we do not want uh, at all, like, anything bad happening here. So I'm just going to kind of, like, add a little bit of different initiation right along here something like that another row right here i think uh that's pretty cool looking and then maybe some trees like here let's actually do like a tiny bit of theming you know we'll do that right here and then uh something like that so it's kind of like hidden in behind a forest that would be kind of cool so let's see is that gonna be like that will be definitely so probably something like this i want to make like a cool little facade right <gasps> um okay we'll, we'll fix that wood wall there you don't even notice perfect that's what we want and we'll do something like kind of like a little cross beam here okay that that'll work now we gotta like kind of i think we'll have to extend this out by one because these like trains are kind of large so we'll do something like this okay i'm really trying like not to screw up here because this is very nerve-wracking i do have to say um okay we'll do that i'm gonna do that too so it's like more rounded out 
Okay, I'm gonna make like a cool little entrance for this ride. I've been really liking in my last few videos of like actually putting a little bit more time into these uh, stations. So we're gonna do that again. So we need to grab some meshes now. And we're just gonna like put them, I think like right here will work. Yeah, we'll just go in with that. We're just gonna put these all along here, connect everything up. So just uh, one large little thing of uh, wooden panels here. And trust me, I'm gonna make it look a bit nicer. I'm gonna, for one, add some trees right here so it kind of gets blocked. We're gonna put like the supports and stuff like that. For this, uh, we're gonna kind of hide them in the queue line as well. So it won't look as bad as it looks now. So we're just gonna kind of do something like that. And then we're going to grab some of these. And we're going to have to go along here. Oh, wait. There's going to be a collision issue, maybe. Oh, my God. Pray to God that's not a collision issue. Oh, I got to be more careful, man. Okay, there. Okay, we're going to go with that. And then um, Q will be underneath here. Oh, let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Narrowly avoided a collision issue right there. Okay. All right. So we're going to, like, do a, a switchback Q, like, right underneath here. Just something like... Very simple, you know, um, a very fun little line right here. And then we're going to have it uh, come back here. And then I guess around this, we could like kind of do like a cool little uh, queue upwards right here. So this might be cool. 2,000 years later. Okay, we're going to do something kind of uh, cool looking here. So this side will have it too. Up here and then like that. Boom. And now we have to make our exit path. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to hide this right here. This spot is gonna be hidden. I kind of screwed up. Okay, I just, uh, kind of patched that up so people won't notice that. And, uh, this is gonna have to be how the station is. Kind of funky, but, uh, we're just gonna roll with this. It comes very close to this tree, but we're just gonna leave that. Okay, I'm gonna, like, put, uh, wooden stuff, like, right underneath here now. This whole part should be, like, covered in wooden walls. All along here, just like that. And then right here, too. I'm just so scared, guys. You don't even know. I'm so afraid. And then right here, we're just going to have it go up all the way. All right. So we're going to have to go up here on all angles. And then we're going to do it again on this side. Oh, my God. We're, we've wasted 10 minutes on building this station. Okay. It was a little bit of an ambitious station, but I think it'll look cool uh, long term. Once I get the roof and stuff on this, it'll look pretty awesome. I'm very afraid of a certain bug occurring where when you press control... Uh, sometimes it glitches out and goes into shift mode for some reason and then it just spazzes them everywhere Which uh, I've already had happen once but it was in a very controllable fashion But uh, if it happens bad, well, it could just screw up this whole challenge. So uh, I'm definitely very worried of that happening. Okay. This is kind of a cool looking station though I do have to say all right I'm just gonna grab some frames like these and we're just gonna put these like right here and then Boom, easy, and then uh, we'll do it on this side too. I'm gonna make a cool looking roof for this, but yeah, this is looking interesting. Okay, just like that. Okay, all along here, boom, pretty simple. All right, now we gotta put some roofs on this bad boy, so something like that, this side too, and then uh, we'll do something like right here. Okay, this station is almost done and it actually looks pretty dope. I do have to say, pretty proud of this one here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put uh, one of these right here. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. Look at me speed run this. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're gonna do one here, one here, one here, one. Oh my god. Oh, I'm playing with fire, boys. I'm playing with fire. I almost screwed the challenge right there. Okay, this is gonna go there. This actually looks pretty cool. Okay, I think this ride is pretty much done. I'm just gonna add uh, some trees here. And, uh, yeah, th this is a practically finished ride. I'm just gonna add some lanterns, because the ride needs it. Lantern, lantern. Uh, it's, it's a very basic ride station, but it looks pretty cool. I just want to put a little bit more detail into some of these stations, because, uh, some of you guys have been asking below, like, can you theme your stations a little more? And I totally agree, and that's what we're doing here today. All right, so we're gonna just have this go down like that. I'm gonna actually put this here. Okay, that's cool. I love this. And, uh, I'm gonna put some trees here, too. I kind of like it being, uh, kind of outdoorsy and, uh, more exposed like this. Kind of neat. A little unique, honestly. Now, we're gonna have it go down here, and then down here, and then, um... Do that, boom, bada, bow, and then have it go here, and then we're gonna have it go this way, this way, boom, boom, easy, okay. Okay, this ride is done. We gotta build another one. 
And we've already wasted 30 minutes on this. Okay, I promise the next ride we make is not going to be as uh, crazy. Well, it might be just as crazy. I don't know. Who knows? But the, the station, we'll, we'll definitely try to fit in like three more rides. Okay, I actually want to build a corkscrew coaster. I have a cool reason for this. I'm going to make the station somewhere like over this way. And uh, we're going to do something cool with this one. So it's going to start something like here. And I'm going to probably build the hardest element for me there is on like just any coaster all in one go which uh i honestly don't know if it's gonna be possible and i'm already seeing issues with this so we have to go all the way up here and then we're gonna go into a kind of a bend here okay that's gonna be the max height for it then we're gonna go to two normal ones and then out of that we're gonna go into the drop okay so here is the first drop here okay we gotta be very careful of these trees here that are in uh a spot I would love to use. I keep forgetting that I can't delete anything. So I was about to just build right there. And uh, no, we really can't. Okay, so we're going to have to go over here. We're going to have it come over this way. And then uh, we're going to build two back-to-back -back elements, which I don't know if will be possible, but we're going to try to, which are corkscrews. They, in my opinion, they're the hardest element to build. I always have issues with building these. So we're going to kind of go a little close. We're going to have a pathway here, and it'll look really cool. So we're going to go like that, and then we're going to try to build our first corkscrew right here. Oh, God. I am so scared. I suck at these so much, guys. You don't even know. Okay, I think that's a good uh, first shape for it. Okay, this is looking like a corkscrew. Okay, boom. That's a, actually a okay corkscrew. I mean, I could definitely do better. Uh, it takes a lot of trial and error to get these uh, perfect, but I'm just going with that. We're going to make this kind of like a basic looping coaster. So, you know, maybe we'll have it go one more time for corkscrews, and then we're going to have it like cut into the brakes. M maybe uh, I shouldn't be trying my luck. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That is not good. Okay, wait. Maybe if I go out and make it more drawn out. That's not as bad, but that's not the best. Uh, Actually, okay, that's decent. We'll go with that. We're going to have to kind of rely on the smoothing tool here now. I'm actually a little scared about this. Okay, so we're going to have it go out of those two corkscrews, and then we're going to go right here. And then, okay, right here is going to be the brakes. All right, now we got to make sure everything is perfectly aligned. Because then we have to, like, kind of get it back to where it was. Right here. We're going to have to, like... I guess we'll have a little random dip right here. But, yeah, that'll be the, the corkscrew coaster. It's nothing crazy. Uh, but I, I think it looks pretty cool, actually. I really want to add some water. But I can't add water. You know what? I'm going to do the next best thing. We're going to kind of, like, uh, go around here like this. And we're going to add some terrain around here. Like this. Oh, this is like rough. But trust me, I will make it so this is kind of hidden. Okay, that's cool. And I could really like... Oh, I could so make this look awesome. Okay, we're going to try some... Let's see it go first. Oh, I love how it weaves out of that support. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we're going to build a uh, some trees here. And we're going to kind of like make them go taller in the back. So it like appears as if it's like a mountain or something, you know? Just like that. Boom. That's kind of cool looking. Oh, I keep removing supports. I'm really not trying to. We're going to actually have to make some custom supports because I screwed the first part up. I guess that'll work. And then we could do like a tree here. Do some trees like that. Okay, that is cool looking. I, I love how it just kind of weaves around here. Weeom, like that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I could probably make this look cooler if we get kind of closer up with the trees. But I'm very concerned about removing supports. That's That's kind of my big issue right now. I'm really trying not to remove supports. Okay, we're going to have to make some custom supports for this here, though, because this got screwed up. So let's uh, enable this. And we're going to make really thin ones like that. And then we're going to go to here. No snapping. Okay, easy. And then we're going to go here and then just place these down. Hopefully, there shouldn't be any intersection issues. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, then uh, this side here. We got to, like, kind of go vertical on this side, actually. So we're going to go like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do that. Okay, that's that'll work. I think that's cool looking. Okay, so now I think the next thing I want to go ahead and make for this. Oh, there's like a weird intersection support is the station for this ride. And uh, it should be a pretty basic little station, you know. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but I do like this. And uh, also, we need to like kind of work on the pathways too. Um, so wait, I need to disable this for now because we're going to go ahead and do the... We're going to do this just like that. Boom. I'm going to also paint this same color as these supports, so we want, like, a gray color. So let's just, like, that. Boom. Okay. That's cool. Now, we're going to make a pathway here. Just, like, 
along this side. Four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, along this. Okay, we're gonna do something like this. I think that's a, a nice little area. Now I gotta be careful with how we design this, cause however we design this, it's staying. I think that would look cool. This side, and then we'll do something like this down the middle. Okay, and then we're gonna put bushes here, just to kind of have something here. And then now on this side, we're gonna add these trees. We're gonna make them kind of large. And we're just gonna go, it's gonna mess up a few supports, but this is just so we can get like square shape kind of roughed out of it. Okay, that, that'll work there. All right, I think that's kind of a, a cool little area right here. Now we're gonna, gonna get, went ahead and make the station for this ride, which should be pretty simple. So let me do that real quick. So very first thing, we gotta do entrance, exit, and then we gotta build a pathway from some entrance. We're gonna put it there, exit, this side. Okay, boom. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of uh, shape the pathway for this, so. Okay, so I just got like the basic cue for this done. Now uh, I'm gonna paint this just so it's like not bad looking. So let's just plop this. And then we're gonna go all the way down, back and forth, just like that. Now we're gonna replace these with just boom, boom, all around here, just like that. And uh, I already made a mistake, oh my god. So we're gonna have to like replace this with this and it looks a little funky now, but hey, you gotta live with your mistakes or something. Okay, we're gonna get some frames now. Let's grab our wooden frames here. And we're just gonna go all the way around here. So boom, easy, just like that. And then uh, this side here, and uh, we're gonna go around here. And then we're gonna go up here and have this go like that. And uh, I think that looks kind of decent, I guess. And then uh, we gotta like have this go all the way down here, this side here, boom, boom, this side here, boom, easy, okay. Okay, I think that's kind of cool. I don't even know if I would've put like a roof on this. I don't know, I'll put a roof on it. We'll do a quick little roof for this. Um, cause I want this to be more of like a classic, uh, old school roller coaster here. And we actually have still 16 minutes left on this challenge. So let me just like grab some mesh right here. And we're gonna put this across here. Have it go down here. Boom, bada bow, super simple. And then also we wanna go ahead and put some fences here for each row of the ride, just like that. And uh, this ride is pretty close to being done. And uh, I've noticed an issue while I was building this roller coaster station. We have no room to expand to. I've like practically used up all of the land for this ride. And we can't like delete anything because if we delete anything, we lose the video. So um, we gotta figure something out on where we can expand to next because I really want to build another type of coaster. Let's take a look at what coasters we can make where we could easily build another station. Something very small and compact that'll fit in a very small, like have a small station footprint, but I wanna build another very big roller coaster. And I just got the idea of what we should make. What if we make a really like crazy launch coaster? Like we could build a huge hydraulic coaster. It could uh, go over this way. And it would be very strange, small and compact, but I think it would be pretty cool. We have 14 minutes to build this coaster, so I'm gonna try to do this. So we're gonna grab our hydraulic launch coaster and we're gonna build a very compact layout. I think it'll have to be up against literally the edge of the park because we don't really have all the room in the world to really build this ride. So I guess a long station for this. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna grab our booster and we're gonna kind of just have it go upwards like this. So something like this. It's kind of really high off the ground. I would go back and fix that if I could, but you guys know the challenge. So we're gonna have a huge top hat right here. Um, I'm thinking something maybe like, okay, something like that, I guess. And then uh, a big drop here. And of course we want this to be a, a vertical drop. And heck, well, screw it. Let's just uh, even make it a inverted drop here. So it, it like starts to invert on itself here. Okay, that's kind of cool looking. And we got 12, oh my God, we only got 12 minutes to build this ride. Okay, we're gonna have it kind of wrap back this way now. Okay, we're gonna have it kind of uh, go back this way. And uh, I think it would be cool to do very low to the ground elements on this ride. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna have it go into something crazy right here that I think would be so cool on one of these rides. We're gonna have it go into a high speed inversion like this, just like that off of the ground. That is crazy. And then out of that, we'll do a huge airtime hill. So we'll go like that. And then we'll have it uh, start to go up into a huge airtime hill. Okay, that's cool. And then uh, we can have it wrap back this way. And I think it's gotta go over these rides here. You can make it kind of like cut close here because 
this shouldn't really have like any intersection issues and uh i think right away the first thing we should do is work on the brakes for this because we gotta get like this ride to somehow uh hit the brakes properly so we're gonna go brakes here this is definitely uh one of the most compact roller coasters i've ever built so i'm gonna kind of like get this like heading back so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna have this head over here just like that okay i think this should be kind of cool uh, I'm gonna work on it from this side though. So we're gonna have it kind of come over here. Might do like a, a little speed airtime hill right here. We can like have it like twist or something. Make it really. F oh, we can do an overbank. Oh, wait. I actually don't know if we can do an overbank. Wait. How will this look? Oh, God. Wait. I just realized I can't really test how this looks. If this is bad, it's bad and it's staying. Okay. I have to get this like perfectly aligned now. This could be absolutely awful. Wait. That's actually not that bad. That's like a little whippy ending. I kind of like that. All right, we don't have time to really like watch it go, but uh, I kind of want to watch it go. All right, here it goes over the first hill. Ooh, barely makes it over that. That's pretty cool. And then uh, it should go over like a high speed uh, inversion right there. Oh, that's awesome. And then into a huge airtime hill. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. I actually love that. That is so, that is so awesome. Oh my God, how do we make that? And then uh, brakes, obviously, gotta get, uh, we gotta go like probably 260. I don't even have to change anything at all. Okay, I wanna make this ride really cool, so we don't have all the time to do this. Okay, so I just finished like the cube part of this, but now we have three minutes and 57 seconds to actually finish this ride, which I'm actually terrified at right now because I actually don't know if we can do this. I, I, I actually don't know. This is a uh, very scary stuff here gamers. Okay, so we're gonna have to go up here just like that Then this side here too and then uh, this here as well And we're just gonna go around like that. Okay that that should be fine And then what we're gonna want to do as well We're gonna want to grab these walls here and just kind of like go. Oh crap. I just screwed up Okay, we're gonna want to go all the way down like this on this side and then we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna do it like this this is actually probably the more simpler way to do it so we're gonna go like this and then there and then oh my god we got three minutes and then this side and then up here okay and then uh okay we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do a roof right here and then um oh oh my god oh my god i'm screwed up roof here all along here okay we'll do that and then uh i, I guess we're gonna actually add one more layer right here because kind of needs it and then we're gonna also do this here as well along there we got to do some painting right here so let's like paint this up we're gonna make it i want to make it a darker color i think that would be kind of cool like that i don't know I, th I think that'll look all right and then um okay we're gonna make this like kind of a, a unique little entrance area if we can i don't know oh my god two minutes oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm kind of panicking now okay we're gonna do this we're gonna have it go along here just like that and then um this as well we'll have it go here and uh this will be a very funky entrance it's a, it's a very peculiar part of the of this so uh i i don't know how this is gonna look i'm just trying to get this mainly covered up before the, the timer runs out so we need to grab the other side of the wood which is here and then we're gonna go around here like this okay this has to go like this this here okay this is gonna be the ugliest station ever but you have to bear with me on this Okay, this goes here. This goes here. Boom, boom. This side goes here. Oh my god. 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 I'm actually panicking. I'm actually panicking. Up here. Boom. There. Boom. Okay, almost everything is done. This goes here. Then we gotta flip this around just like that. Okay, now we gotta do a pull, which is pretty much the last thing we have to do on this. So I, I wanna do a pull like right here. And then uh, I kinda wanna decorate the insides a little bit if we can. And uh, I also realized another issue with this ride. We didn't add anything here. We gotta just add some fences. Uh, oh, and we wanted to put a roof on this. Oh my God. I don't know if we can do it. Uh, okay, roof. Roof will go like right here. Uh, okay, that, that's gonna be the roof for this ride. We're just gonna do some poles too. Some basic poles right here. Okay, this gotta go up right here. And then uh, this side. And then this side. Oh my god, we are actually rushing this. Okay, if I can, I wanna just do like a little basic room in here. Oh my god, eight seconds. Eight seconds. Come on, come on. Roof, roof, roof. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. One. Uh, okay, I'll just place that last one. Okay, that that's it. 
Oh, yeah, there, there's definitely a few errors with this, but, well, you you know what's next. It's time for us to open this park up, and uh, I do have to say, I am very, like, I really like this one. I love this launch coaster we somehow snuck in. Definitely very cool, so let's go ahead and check all of these out. Honestly, I'm too lazy to open the park up, but uh, you can imagine what these rides must be like with people running around on them. So that's our very first ride here, which we are going to ride. Looks very neat and very cool, so let's go ahead up here. This is our spinning coaster, and oh my gosh, the views here. Oh, I love that corkscrew and the way that uh, big top hat looks. But this is a our, our spinning coaster, which is very cool looking. Uh, very awesome spinning coaster. It has a lot of spinach to it. And um, yeah, let's ride it. Now, uh, can you guys let me know beforehand, by the way, like how you guys want me to record the spinning coasters? Because I don't know if you guys want them recorded like this or like you want them like like this you know so they don't spin i don't know you guys can tell me below but here we go guys straight into the air as we go over our top hat very cool little top hat here and now we are got going into our very first big loop-de-loop -loop. I, I don't think we did any more loops on any of the rides the ride has it does have a lot of spinach for the first part it's kind of more about the inversions but once you hit that little uh dive loop right there it really starts spinning especially this one here Man, it is going. And then uh, we got our twisted turrets. Look at us go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is our double. Oh my goodness. This would get me sick on a ride like this in real life. Oh, that would be cool though. Oh, look at this. Look at how much spinach is going over that helix. And then after that, we go right into our brakes. Very cool. I love the interactions of this ride between the corkscrew, the hydraulic, and this coaster. It's all just so perfect. But the next coaster I want to do is the awesome looking corkscrew coaster I, I love just how scenic it is and how pretty it is with that lake i mean i'm very shocked we built three pretty cool looking coasters in the span of about an hour so uh, literally an hour that's literally how long it is but like just look at how mesmerizing that is so pretty i love this that is just gorgeous and uh it looks pretty cool too with the hydraulic launch coaster as well so let's go ahead and head over here and I'll ride this bad boy. Man, I love this, like, this high-speed inversion it does. Oh, look at that go, man. And then out of that, straighten a huge air time. You get so much air time if this is real. But let's ride this, because this looks very fun. This is supposed to be, like, a classic, uh, you know, corkscrew coaster. Something like you'd find at, like, Cedar Point. Um, like, the Cedar Point cor corkscrew. And I'm going to be real. These rides suck in real life. Like, I would be happy if corkscrew at Cedar Point got removed. I mean, this corkscrew at Cedar Point is literally a ride that's more fun to watch than it is a ride. Riding it is pure pain, Um, you know, because of these over-the-shoulder restraints. Apparently, there's, like, some new roller coaster trains on uh, older coasters like these that are a lot more smoother. And, um, I mean, it might be better with them, but uh, I'll just tell you my personal experience from uh, corkscrew at Cedar Point. Not fun at all. I still haven't done like Viper at Magic Mountain because uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm too afraid to ride it because uh, they're, they're just rough rides. Not even because they're scary. They're just rough. Oh, I love that little ending to that ride. There's so much going on with all the coasters in the background. It's so cool. But yeah, here we go. Going into our first little double down and then into our corkscrew just like that. And one more corkscrew here. And by the way, I didn't even mention, we built this whole park without deleting anything. That's awesome. I can't believe we did that. I mean, I, I I don't know if I did end up deleting anything. You guys will have to call me out in the description below. But I don't think I deleted anything at all. Deleting stuff is, like, so, like, second nature to me. So, like, you know, I, I, I really... I probably wouldn't be able to tell if I did actually end up deleting something. But I don't think I did. I got close to a few times, but I don't think I ended up doing that. I was very cautious with all my buildings, so... Uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and close this ride down. And then we're gonna go ahead and test this bad boy. Alright, here we go. Let's ride this. Here we go. This is our hydraulic coaster, the last ride we have here. So we gotta get lined up with our catch car. And uh, this is such a cool ride. Like, I I'm so glad I built this one. I, I honestly was kind of stuck. I didn't even know where to build a, a final ride, but I kind of figured it out. So, um, let's ride this. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. Oh, my gosh. Over this first top hat, which it could be a little bit smoother, but oh, oh, big twist right there. And here we go. Oh, my gosh. Right over that. That is awesome. And then 
huge airtime hill there and we are turning back this way oh that was so cool oh my goodness this is so awesome oh my gosh i love this park so much this honestly is probably the best one hour challenge i've done so far man i i can't believe i've shrunk all this into one hour i i want to hear back from you guys what did you think of this park and uh i didn't delete anything which is pretty cool but yeah we're gonna go ahead and end today's video here make sure you're subscribed down below but anyways gamers i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys